Hi everyone. Um, tonight's video is uh, cycling and heart health. Um, God, I used to love cycling as a kid. I really did. And uh, there's many benefits to cycling. Uh, first of all, um, if you just have a heart attack, you're at a hospital, go to your uh, cardio rehab, uh, do all the exercises there, get yourself fit and then go and see your doctor before you can take up cycling. The best about cycling is, you know, you're out there and oh, don't be scared of being on the road, you know. Um, there's, there's so much more for cyclists now than whenever I was a kid, you know. They just finished the Second World War when I was a kid. But anyway, you know, cycling, the thing about cycling, believe it or not, it actually strengthens every muscle in the body, especially your heart muscle. You know, the other thing about cycling is it will bring down eventually over time your rest and heart rate. And uh, it's just, it's, it's just fantastic for your body, you know. Um, you know, you take in the key factors of, you know, why would you want to cycle instead of walk? Is cycling better for you than walking? Uh, I actually looked into that and uh, it's not better than walking. They're both apparently the same, you know. But some people like cycling, you know. The, if you're in a, I don't know whether you get up early on a Sunday or not. Most people lie in. I normally get up early on a Sunday and, you know, if you get on your bicycle and you go for a nice wee cycle and... Uh, there's actually nothing in it better than on a nice day, you know, going for a cycle. And then when you start to build your strength up, you can actually start cycling to work. So you're saving money on uh, diesel, petrol, whatever you want to put in your car, you know. Um, plus the fact you're not using your car as much. So, you know, it's it's a good thing. But I remember I used to cycle, um, I was 30 at the time, so well, believe it or not. I used to cycle four miles to work. I was uphill most of the way. And I used to cycle four miles back. Well, I didn't really cycle back. I just sat in the seat and just let it roll downhill, you know. At the end of the day, it's still cycling, isn't it? I mean, it's not cheating, you know. But, uh, no, I thoroughly recommend cycling as one of the major exercises for the heart. Um, what you got to remember is, if you take a heart attack, which I did take a heart attack 13 years ago, and... Uh, Luckily enough, uh, a couple of years before I took the heart attack, I used to run a football team and uh, we used to do five a side training. I used to actually be referee during some of the matches. So for 90 minutes, I was running up and down that pitch. So I was getting plenty of exercise and I sort of kept myself fit right up to the age of uh, 53. The only thing was uh, at 40, I'd actually given up drinking for 10 years, but that's a story for another day. Um, I started drinking sort of from 40 right up till um, I had a heart attack at 53 and uh, the, the problem was I put on two stone. Now everybody knows that obesity is one of the major things that will bring a heart attack on. Now trust me, if you're cycling, not only are you losing and burning the calories, you know, you're going to, I mean, it's absolutely brilliant, you're, you're, you're going to work so you're, you're not paying any money for petrol, you know, you're saving money, you're getting to work. And at the same time, you know, you've got to say half an hour's exercise. In a half hour, it's not just the exercise. You've built up all the muscles. You see, if you're actually cycling for a couple of weeks, you'll actually feel your legs, your thighs, all start to build up. This, see this here? This big belly that I'm trying to get rid of? It'll go too. And uh, once you get a bit of better weather, which we're starting to get here now in Belfast, um, I want to get myself uh, another bike. I've got a bike, but it's up in the shed, up in the alley. Along with God knows what's up there, you know, it could be, be an old relative up in that shit. But I want to get myself a good bike and uh, get cycling again. There's so many cycling clubs you can join as well and uh, meet new people. Because one of the things about uh, heart disease as well is meeting people, you know, having a good chat and a good bit of laugh, laughter, you know. That's another thing. Laughter's good for your heart. I must actually do a blog on that one of these days. And, uh, but anyway, back to cycling, you know, join me cycling club and then Saturday, Sunday or something like that there, you're out cycling and going back to my own heart, I know it keeps switching back and forward here, um, but I don't want to be sitting with a script, you know, but uh, as I say, I have got really fit and the more that boy there, you know, that's your heart, so it is, you know, I've, I keep saying this, you know, it's like a fist, right? Now, your fist is a strong muscle in itself, right? Now, if you're drinking, you're eating crap, 
and basically you're not exercising. Not exercising is the main reason. If you don't exercise enough, the muscle in your heart is going to become flabby. You know, your heart, if you take a heart attack, it's not going to be the same as a fit person has a real strong muscle heart, you know. And that can be you. Yeah, you. Sitting in your backside there, you should be out cycling, having a walk or having a swim, building that heart muscle up, you know. So, yeah, say, cycling, it's got it's many good factors. And another is, as I say, the mental health, because it does relax you. There's no doubt about it. And if you're feeling relaxed, you know, your whole body's going to be relaxed. And, uh, you know, there's a stress factor too, because stress... Stress alone can give you a heart attack. Uh, many of the time, you know, I felt like I've been having a heart attack with some of the stress you'd be under, and especially with COVID in the last year. You know, it's been it's been bad for all of us. You know, but you no, know, if you cycle to work and back, or even go out for a wee cycle a day, it doesn't even have to be a cycle a day. You know, and just pace yourself. Don't don't be you know thinking you're blinking Lance Armstrong or anything like that. Just get the bike. Go out for a wee cycle, round the block. You know, even if you're running away for a cycle for 20 minutes and you're puffed out, because trust me, I cycled to work the first time, it's four miles, and I swear to God, when I got to work, the sweat was running down me. Luckily enough, I had a change to top and so on, you know. And, um, but when I got there, God, my heart my rate was through the roof. The sweat was coming through me. But the thing is, like everything else, it's like walking as well. You know, if you keep doing it, then your body's going to become used to it. Those muscles are going to strengthen and you're going to feel a lot stronger. Your blood pressure is going to start coming down over the sort of weeks and months ahead. Your heart rate is going to come down as well. And basically your whole body and your, you know, everything to do heart related is going to feel better because you're a fitter you. I was listening to talk radio and I, d I didn't hear the start of it. I was driving home and only sort of turned the radio on. And I heard this guy being interviewed. And um, he'd done like a 26 mile marathon. Uh, and he had cycled it. And I sort of thought, B big deal. You know, sure. The, the run 26 miles for a marathon, you know. I mean, the only marathon I would be doing would be the old marathon bar that they now call a snicker. You know, I would eat it. That's it. That's my marathon. But anyway, it turns out. This guy that done the cycle marathon, the 26 mile, he was 92 years old. 92? I kid you not, you know. The, I don't know whether the guy had, had heart problems or not. I didn't catch the start of it, but I know he had a health condition and he decided to get fit by slowly starting to cycle and then he built up and he built up and he built up and he done 26 miles, you know, 92 years old. So... You know, what can I say? Cycling is good for you. It's good for your heart health. It's good for your mental health. And it's good. It's it's just good for your whole body overall. So, I can only say, get on your bike. Uh, give me a like. Did, did you see the wee rhyme there? Did, did you catch that? I'll, I'll do it again, all right? Get on your bike. Give me a like. Subscribe to my channel. And uh, hit the wee bell there. Um, I know it wasn't a long video tonight, but it's just it's just straightforward video tonight. Cycling strengthens your heart muscle, but not only does it strengthen your heart muscle, it's good for your mental health, it's good for depression, it's good for bringing your blood pressure down, lowers your heart rate uh, overall, over time, and um, it's good for every muscle in the body. It gets rid of obesity. Obesity is another major factor of heart disease, so cycling gets rid of obesity. You're getting rid of obesity, you're bringing blood pressure down, you're building up the bad boy heart muscle there, and you're saving money. Get me, can you ask for it anymore? Yeah, we can, can't we? We're greedy buggers. Anyway, I'll uh, talk to you this again tomorrow night, and uh, thanks very much for watching. I appreciate it. You all take care. I'm going to go off and watch the England football match tonight, and uh, being from Northern Ireland, but then I'll not say it, I was going to say I hope England get beat. But there might be a lot of English people watching my video and I don't want them unsubscribing. Uh, I hope England win. Anyway, take care. All the best. Bye-bye.